we just got brand new information and our very first look at Black Ops 6 Nuketown. And people are bricked up, man. Everybody's excited. Sick is doing backflips right now. Everybody's shaking right now. What is going on, man? I never thought that we will see one of these days. Like the video if you hope Black Ops 6 is good. Dislike the video if not. Because right now, everybody's like hopeful once again for the game and i truly do hope that this game is good we're also having rumors that skill based matchmaking will be lower but who am i kidding right that that is remain to be seen so guys do not let your dogs out this early man i'm just saying bro i'm just saying like this video and let's just get into it roll it we're gonna be talking about our first look at nuketown over in black ops 6 some new map discoveries plus even more for multiplayer definitely stay tuned but okay. before you jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below yep. drop a like and as a like and subscribe and shout out to the homie dk Reminder, there's plenty of brand new article coverage going up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. It's been a very busy man. last couple of days. I had so much to Man, my boy is killing it, man. He got his own website. Crazy. Sheesh. Prepare for you guys over on the Twitter, over on the website. And on top of that, had plenty of videos going up here on the channel as well. Sincerely appreciate all the love on the recent content. But if you've been keeping up to date here on the channel, you know that I was able to play Black Ops 6 early. Sheesh. A couple of days ago, I was flown out to LA to head over to Treyarch HQ, and I got my hands on the new Call of Duty. Now, while I can't share my impressions on Black Ops 6 just yet, Bruh. what I will say is that the wrecked event that we just got yesterday did perfectly emphasize just how crazy innovative this game is about to be. This game truly will redefine. Okay, please, nah, just stop with that, bro. Nah, just stop with that, dog. <laughs> Pump the brakes right there, bro. Every year we say the same thing that it's gonna be the most innovative Call of Duty game ever. And then it's like, we're all looking like this after that. Nah, bro, like, please don't. I know this is Treyarch, and there have been good stuff that has been announced, right? But still, guys... Don't let your dogs out, okay? Don't let your dogs out. Don't let your dogs out, bro. Call of Duty, especially when it comes to movement, for the foreseeable future, which I couldn't be more excited about. But okay. this video is going to be focused a lot more on maps. Obviously, I'll have separate individual videos going up over the next few days about a wide range of topics. There's so much I still want to break down, but let's start off with map voting. So within parts of the Direct, you're able to see a glimpse of some of the monitors used at Treyarch Studios. And you can see that one of the developers oh. is working on the menu and UI for Black Ops 6 multiplayer. So I do have a separate video plan talking more about a UI overhaul, COD HQ. I'll be making that. Man, okay, we really are, like, doing this, man. So, I know, of course, like, Sikas have always done that in the past as well. And this is how we got information back in the days as well. But, like, th this is insane to me that we really, really are doing it right. Like, we zooming on <laughs> to, like, devs uh, monitors and seeing, like, what's happening in the game. Okay, well, okay. Let's relatively see. soon. But when it comes to one of these specific frames that we got to see, it does look like map voting is coming back. Obviously, these images are pretty blurry. These aren't HD screenshots. That's by Whoa. any means of dead some ass? of these new Black Ops 6 menus. Dead ass, dead ass. Okay, if that comes, either they found a way to still keep skill based matchmaking while having uh, us, uh, while giving us the option to map vote, or they are really getting rid of it because of X defined. Maybe I, I, I believe that they found a way to still keep skill based matchmaking while giving us this option. That's what I truly do believe in, but let's see. But I'm actually really happy about this because Modern Warfare 3 also brought back the idea of map voting and even the ability to stay in a lobby after your match concludes. I know, a revolutionary feature, right? Something we had in a bunch of older CODs that has actually been absent from several previous entries of the series. So I think with all those classic features coming back, it's about to make a very, very engaging Call of Duty out of Black Ops 6. But over at the Q&A in the Treyarch studio and then again on the Direct, they confirmed we are indeed getting 16 multiplayer maps at launch. That's honestly, I think, a good staple for COD MP. A few previous entries of COD also launched with this many maps, or around the same, roughly. So, we have 12 original 6v6 maps. Yes, okay. completely original 6v6 maps coming day one, on top of four strike maps. The four strike maps are being built for 2v2 slash 3v3 gameplay, so you can bet gunfight or a mode like that is bound to return to support those maps, but face-off is also going to be added to these strike maps. So, realistically, I, I really hope that those maps are also small, uh, small and we can have 66 on it as well. Like, so it makes 16 maps, right? Or, or are they really like, uh, like, uh, misleading us with hey, 16 maps? But like, I guess they're not. Uh, it's gonna be 16 maps, but 
12 of them for 6v6 and the the the, the, the other four for 2v2 but i want to see those 2v2 maps those smaller maps i hope those maps are small in modern warfare 19 they were still gigantic okay they were still gigantic okay but i i want to see like more small maps in the game though yo like yasukas need to make it uh similar to nuketown right nuketown is making a comeback and i think that's good i think for for a game like black ops yeah nuketown is good they can always bring it back that's perfectly fine that's one remaster that they they got to at this point always bring it back make it better and better and yeah surely bring it back i wouldn't even mind like if you were to bring all the other iterations of the nuketown maps as well like the original black ops 1 black ops 2 black ops 3 black ops 4 black ops cold war yeah i, I seriously would not mind all of them coming back in this game yeah oh hell yeah absolutely alongside the new iteration that they're gonna make for black ops 6 so that's one map that they can keep on remastering but i want to see more smaller maps too so in the future they have something else to remaster too you feel what i'm Bruh. saying we need more uh, smaller maps like we need to also create new memories going forward as well how long can they rely on nostalgia and the remaster maps it's gonna run out it's gonna run dry like the video if you agree you're still getting around 16 6v6 maps day one since you should be able to play 6v6 on those strike maps hopefully at launch i'm guessing that's how they're gonna do it but these will also be classic three lane experiences that's not to say that we can't get some crazy wacky unique map layouts in the future for post launch but at least during the release window of black ops 6 we're gonna be seeing traditional three lane maps as you guys would probably mm. expect of course from a Treyarch title but what i did notice over on twitter is that some screenshots did start floating around of what appears to be Vorkuta that's going to be featured Vorkuta. in the Black Ops 6 campaign. Now, I'm going to assume that one of these multiplayer maps will likely also take place in Vorkuta. Yeah. There'll probably yeah, yeah, be yeah. some areas from that campaign mission adopted into a multiplayer experience. There's one map in particular that I want to say looks exactly like a area of Vorkuta that I remember from Black Ops. I, I was getting the same vibes too, bro. Like, I, I was watching the reveal and that's what I was saying. Like, oh, that that, that reminds me of uh, Vorkuta. Vork 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 yeah, 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 yeah. One? I mean, these look like the Vorkuta tunnels. It looks like a pretty crazy looking map that I'm sure is very fast paced considering how tight and close quarters it looks. Nuketown coming up, boys. So yeah, it looks like Vorkuta is going to be a multiplayer map of some sort. Unless I'm tripping with the footage that we can see here, at the very least, it will be featured in the Black Ops 6 campaign. And mm -hmm. what do you know, as expected with every Call of Duty title, whenever there's some badass areas of a campaign, you can bet they'll make their way into other game modes in that title at some point, either during the launch window or even during post-launch so with that if you guys are wondering wait how many maps are going to be dropping during the postseason of black ops 6 well let me remind you guys that I, I hope more than two bro i just hope it's gonna be more than two because <laughs> if you remember modern warfare 2022 the most advanced call of duty game ever those suckers drop one new map after five months yeah <laughs> After five months, we ended up getting one new map. You want to know why? This was the reason. Friendly UAV Online! Because they were making a lot of money with friendly UAVs online, with the bundles, the BBC bundles, the, the, the anime waifu skins and all that. So they were like, hey, we do not need to drop any map, bro. We do not need to drop any map, bro. And, and yeah, we ended up uh, just getting the bundles, bro. And <laughs> no maps, no maps. I hope this time these seconds don't do that and we get uh, actual content. Like the video if you agree. Cold War really set a standard at the time for how many maps should get added during... Bundles or maps? Like for bundles. Oh, I mean, like for maps. Bruh. Dislike the video if you want to just see bundles only. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, figure this out together. Post launch cycle, there were several solid maps added throughout each season, and although the game did launch on a bit of an odd note because there was a limited amount of multiplayer maps, the seasons quickly fixed that problem. So you can bet with even more years under Treyarch's belt for Black Ops 6, they're going to be adding in a ton of maps into Black Ops 6 multiplayer. But looking at a recent entry like Modern Warfare 3, Sledgehammer has absolutely set a standard for how post launch should work for Call of Duty. I'm not even just talking about weapons weekly challenges events cool crossovers i'm talking about 6v6 multiplayer maps or just mp maps in general Crazy, they've done huh? a great job and i think it's actually scary yeah I, I heard this from 
a lot of people, I, I believe even Blame Trotha, uh, who's considered to be the the call, the big time Call of Duty hater. I I don't think he's a Call of Duty hater. Uh, he has uh, his reasonings, you know what I mean, right? Like, uh, uh, and a lot of the stuff that he talks about, we talk about it as well. Yeah, so yeah, he's not a hater in my opinion, but okay, whatever. But but like even even he was saying that Sledgehammer Games is actually pretty pr has been pretty good. <gasps> A lot of people are saying Sledgehammer has been very, very good, and I believe that. Uh, I didn't buy Modern Warfare 2023, first Call of Duty game that I didn't buy, and <laughs> apparently people are saying that the post-launch content was good. Everything else was kind of wacky, though. You know, it was a remaster, a remaster maps. Uh, the idea of remaster maps was not like uh, a bad thing. Like people wanted Modern Warfare 2 original to remaster, but the fact that they added that in Modern Warfare 3, titled it as a new game, but basically put, like, they they made it sound like a new game when it wasn't, and that's what people were like, and, and of course the price was $70, had it been it was like 30 bucks or 40 perhaps, that's pushing it though, a 30, if it was $30, I feel like a lot more people would be quite chill about it, and I would have bought it, I feel like that a lot of other people would have bought it too, but we're talking Activision, man, they, they wanna make the monies, man, they wanna make the monies, they wanna uh, always milk the cows, uh, the cow titties, right, so that's uh, that's what it to is. To see what standard season 3 in particular ended up setting, where we ended up seeing, what, 5, 6, new 6v6 maps, I don't expect to get that many maps every season, but considering Raven is working on the Black Ops 6 campaign, that gives Treyarch more time to put into multiplayer and zombies, so you can bet that it it could be possible to see that many maps in a couple of seasons here and there. I like the enthusiasm, but let's uh, not kid ourselves. That's probably not going to happen, dude. Uh, the reason being, as soon as this game's out, they're going to already... There is going to be a set team on the DLC content, absolutely, no, make no mistake, you're right. Uh, but but, but there's going to be another team that's going to be working. I bet you already they're thinking about what they want to do like in, the, as, in terms of their next game. And as soon as this baby ships, they're working on the next game, uh, absolutely. So it's not that all of the devs' attention, on, uh, our attention our, is going to be on this game. It's uh, more than half of it is going to be on the, the upcoming game as well. But either way, you know Treyarch's gonna really raise the bar and provide as much content as they possibly can with each I, I hope update. So. so during the Treyarch, yeah, I, I believe in Rock, uh, I believe in Ta uh, uh, Treyarch. I was gonna say Rockstar and then Take Two. Now I believe in uh, Treyarch. Yeah, absolutely. Treyarch has been the the best studio so far out of the uh, out of all the other uh, Call of Duty studios. Presentation over at the studio a few days ago, they actually gave us a bit of a list of all multiplayer maps that we're gonna be seeing in BO6. While I'm not gonna go over every single map name right now, one of the maps shown to us was redacted but we were able to make out something out of the redacted image it appeared to be what looked like a sandstorm that went over nuketown and you uh -oh. were able to depict what looked like a green and yellow house and right away we're all like oh that's nuketown and while they didn't exactly specify that it was it was heavily implied that there would be a bonus map of some sort added at some point i don't think this map's gonna be dropping in season one i mean it could right keep what? that in mind but i'm thinking about the way that nuketown was handled in Black Ops Cold War, Nuketown 84 released during the pre-season window. That was about, I think, uh, two weeks after the launch of that game, uh -huh. and about, I want to say, two weeks. Okay, I, I don't mind if they release it, like, two weeks after launch. Yeah, that, that I, I don't mind. It's not too big of a deal. But what was the reasoning of releasing Nuketown 84 in Black Ops Cold War two weeks later? Was it because the game was not ready? Uh, makes sense to me because they, they made that game in the pandemic and of course uh, Sledgehammer, my balls, uh, Sledgehammer Games was supposed to drop a game that, that year uh, and Treyarch took over and that that's why it happened. But this time, I mean, if they are, they have been saying they have been playtesting the game for two years now, two years, and by the time it comes out it's gonna be four years in the making. So yeah, they can drop it day one though before the start of season one i think it's a brilliant idea to add in these fan favorite back in black type maps during like pre-season windows or, or just yeah. random drops in Wouldn't between mind. major seasons not having to market those maps on a roadmap or anything we'll circle back to the back in black maps later on but what's also interesting to support this theory that nuketown is already ready to go for black ops 6 is that in one of the frames of the direct event you could see on one of the developers monitor oh, yeah. that they're about to load into a match of nuketown so that is 100% confirmation that no matter when the map releases, Nuketown is going to be releasing inside of Black Ops 6. It's very hard to make out what the map actually- WHAT?! This was also a screenshot taken from a monitor? Oh shit! Oh, shit. No! I thought that was just like, uh, 
uh, yeah, a screenshot that was uh, seen in a trailer. I guess it was seen in a trailer, dead ass. But my point is that we saw full screen in a trailer, not like a dev playing it. Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is crazy, bro. Actually looks like, but if that image is actually Nuketown, the one that I saw at the Treyarch studio, then it looks like the new version of Nuketown is going to be a bit of an interesting take where uh -huh. like a sand dune or something is within the actual Nuketown itself. And we all know Nuketown's in Nevada. So yeah, there's a desert in the background. There's sand everywhere. It would make sense to get this type of twist on the map, which I'm looking forward yeah. to. And as I have footage of in the background, the evolution of Nuketown over the years has been absolutely beautiful to see. There have been some really. I re I also really hope we get Nuketown zombies. Likely not gonna happen, but if we were to get it, I'm I'm a fan of Nuketown zombies in Black Ops 2. I I thought I thought it was a very very good map. You could have and also in Black Ops 2 zombies you could have started playing zombies on round 20 as well. So it was like uh, just go in and yeah just survive as much as possible uh, get your weapons all that it was a real challenge i i love that part let me know your thoughts as well and guys check out this video on the screen because recently we got beta download for black ops 6 as well yeah we got all the information on when you can download how you can download the size and everything like that check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left